my last uh, two culinary BNFs, do you, yeah. you finally got your opportunity. Um, just explain to us um, your reaction after you finally got picked. Yeah, I was over the moon. Um, obviously, it's been a, yeah, a long journey. I've had to buy me time in the VFL, and um, yeah, I can't thank Collingwood Footy Club enough over there. All the coaches and the VFL staff, they've been great to me. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to taking the opportunity and, yeah, and we're going to get stuck into it. Yeah, is it weird coming here after sort of being yeah. at Collingwood all, all year? Yeah, it's not too far, it's just over the road. So, <laughs> um, driving the same boom gate. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, no, it's really an easy transition. Yeah. yeah have, you no. seen, have you seen any other boys that you might have played with, copy me to stick on the way when you come through the boom gates? Uh, yeah, I went and caught up with them last night. I popped over to training there, so um, yeah, they're all wrapped. And um, hopefully, yeah, I can inspire a few boys to keep um, trying over in the VFL and keep cracking in. Yeah. It's sort of in vogue that you know the mature age recruit. Don't you? Yeah. I mean, you must be looking at other guys previous years, going, you know, I'm not so close to an opportunity. I mean, yeah. do you feel like you can really make an impact as a mature age recruit? Yeah, definitely. Um, guys like Bailey Fritz, who's here, and Brody Mychek, um, they come straight in last year and were lucky enough to play some senior footy. So um, hopefully I can do the same and, yeah, in the trust of the coaches and teammates and, um, yeah, hopefully play some senior footy early on. Down back as well, as you in that your fit or do you feel like you're flexible enough to maybe play a different role? Or where would you like to slot into the Melbourne team? Um, I'd like to slot in down back, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable down there. Um, play that third tall defender kind of role, intercept player. So, um, yeah, I think that's what they've got planned for me here. So, yeah. I suppose for a lot of these younger guys here, there's a little bit of the unknown, but you've, yeah. you've already had that experience that you've been in a footy club. Do you think yeah. that, that helps so much that you do know somewhat what to expect? Yeah, definitely. Um, the program over there is um, pretty full on, and um, we train pretty hard and do a lot of meetings and whatnot. So, um, I'm pretty much used to all that sort of stuff, so I think it should hold me in good stead coming into a full-time job. Yeah. Does it feel like much changed? I know it's about you know walking over the road, but the fact yeah. that you are now just in, you know you don't have to move house or anything, you have yeah. to do anything different. That yeah. must be, I suppose, take a little bit of stress off as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, should be an easy transition, I think. So um, yeah, staying in the same spot at the moment. So um, yeah, all all's been going well, and just um, not training at night anymore, training during the day. So. Should have a little bit more time on your hands. So you, you went on a farm the other day, like some. <laughs> yeah, I actually was. I was being back, back home on the farm. Okay. Um, so I didn't watch the draft. I, I watched the last few, and yeah, you just end up disappointed. So I thought if something happened, um, my parents would ring me up and let me know. And lucky enough, they did. Yeah. How, how did they tell you? Was it? Was it? You know, were they yelling, or how did it? How did the phone call happen? Um, yeah. So I was working. Dad just rang me up, and he said, "Oh, you better come inside. Melbourne's just picked you." <laughs> so I got on the motorbike and raced inside. Um, so yeah, I was oh, over the moon, ecstatic. What were you doing on the farm? Uh, I was just sitting on the digger, so the excavator. Um, so yeah, we've got a bit of work going on back home at the moment, so I've um, been helping out the mum and dad there, so yeah. Where's back home? Uh, up near Chuka, so Leechville, yep. the dairy farm up there. Yeah, so. What's it like when that phone call rings between you get back to the house, your mind sort of already racing about you finally an yeah. NFL player? Oh yeah, I was, couldn't, get, couldn't get home quick enough pretty much. <laughs> I was going pretty quick, um, so yeah, I, oh, I just couldn't believe it to be honest. Yeah. What would you be doing if you didn't get an NFL contract to work full time work? Um, so I've been a cabinet maker, shop fitter the last um, four and a half years. So I've done the apprenticeship in that. So um, yeah, I could probably I could probably would have kept going with that um, and kept trying to play the best um, standard of footy possible. So yeah, I would have definitely had a crack at VFL, but lucky enough, yeah, I've got the opportunity here and. Yeah, pretty grateful for it. And is playing round one a, a genuine chance for you? I mean, you, you've, you've got the size of the body, so yeah. you know you can play senior footy. Yeah. I, I mean, do you feel like you can put in a good pre-season and be there for round one? Yeah, definitely. I think, yeah, I might be a, a tiny little bit ahead of these draftees, um, being a little bit older and being in the program for a little bit longer. So, yeah, round one definitely would be the goal. Um, we'll wait and see. Hopefully um, have a good pre-season and get real fit and, yeah, we'll wait and see. Did it ever cross your mind? <clears throat> sorry, did it ever cross your mind to give it away? Oh, you kind of think, is it all worth it sometimes? Um, but yeah, look, I've got plenty of mates down here now, and got some lifelong friendships. Um, and yeah, I was still playing some pretty good footy, so I thought I, I kept chipping away at it, um, kept improving my game. Um, hopefully, yeah, something would come one day, and lucky enough, yeah, it did. Do you remember Jace coming out to your farm? I think you mentioned yeah. in uh, 2013 when you yeah. first, first came through. Well, what was reaction then and um, how's things changed since then? Yeah, um, yeah, they come up um, in my draft year, so, so I think I was a 19 year old back then. Um, so a couple of carloads come up, um, yeah. 
So yeah, it was pretty daunting to be honest. Um, yeah, I'd never talked to any other clubs yeah. um, then, so um, yeah, I was pretty nerve wracking. But um, yeah, they um, showed a little bit of interest, and lucky enough, they've been watching me the last few years and just tracking me. So um, yeah, I can't thank them boys enough for yeah. giving me the chance. Yeah. Beautiful. Well done. Thanks, Thanks mate. Thanks, Cheers. Cheers.